So, been away for a while, lots of things going on, but uh, I made the mistake of asking my uh, followers or subs or whatever you want to call it, like, uh, what should I react to? I mean, what should I, what should I do next? I don't really have a subject in mind, and um, an old subject came back to bite me in the ass, and that subject is kind of two mukbangs, Nikado Avocado, and Hungry Fat Chick. That's what she calls herself, and the title matches, but... Um, I was hesitant. Somebody said they wanted me to react to Nikado Avocado. If you don't know who he is, he was a vegan who apparently decided to go the whole mukbang route, and now he's five million pounds. I'm just being, that's not even funny. I'm being, he's probably 4,999,000 pounds. I mean, I'm going to be fair here. And so they're like, can you please react to him? He's gotten worse over time. And I'm like, how could he get worse? I did a video on him and mukbangs in general two years ago and immediately got me for hate speech. So I'm very hesitant about even doing this video, but I've got opinions. And you know what? YouTube is stricken me so many times for hate speech and everything like that and inappropriate content. Why the fuck are they not striking mukbangs? That is the most hideous, disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. So first off, let's start with Nikado Avocado. He's the first one I watched. Hadn't seen him in a while. He's a openly gay guy. I mean, he's, I mean, he makes Stevie looks straight. I mean, let's just put it like that. He's uh, somebody get a fire extinguisher because he's flaming. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Great. More power to him. So I picked one video where he was going to eat, I think it looked like 5,000 pieces of pizza. I don't even know what it was, but I'm not even lying like that. And he starts with the video with a story time. And this story time was great. I think I should share it with you and you should share it with your grandchildren. Apparently, well, as he put it, he's like, so the other night, I just want to tell you all before I gorge myself on food and then, you know, inadvertently shit myself again I was in bed and I was sleeping under the cozy covers and then I come up and I realize I got a rumble in my tummy and I have to go number two like every three like you had to take a shit can you, can you just say it I mean you're gorging yourself on food making every disgusting noise slathering oils all over your face like, I'm so good. And, uh, but we can't say shit okay fine let's go making a number two and a potty he says some interesting things too. He goes, and by the way, I don't wipe. I use the bidet because I don't believe in wiping. I don't believe in wiping. Because that would be, you know, that's unhealthy. He might chafe. Unlike your skin, which probably fucking rub it. You'd probably start fires with your thighs at this point. Listen, it's just the fucking truth at this point. So he starts going with the story. He's like, um, I woke up in the middle of the night. And then you know, I sit down on the potty. I sit down on the potty. And all of a sudden I feel something crack. And I start pooping. And I'm just pooping, pooping, pooping. And then I realized something cracked and my head started getting light. And by the way, if you want a tip from me, yes, we want health tips from you. We want health tips from somebody whose cholesterol has to be a Guinness record at this point. It's just got to be. So <laughs> he's like, he goes, um, if you start to feel dizzy and you're a mukbanger or you're like me and you just are slovenly in general, just put your head down because the blood rushes to your head. Okay. So then he starts to go, and I realize, you know, I've got this weird cracking going on in here. It's from my tummy, and I'm pooping on myself. And I stood up, and I realized, oopsie doopsie, I'm wiping my butt. That's lovely. That's great. I just ate. Let's tell me more. Okay, I will, Jay. So anyway, <laughs> I just didn't wipe my butt, and I had all these, you know, feces and poopsie doopsies on me, and all kinds of, you know, kindergarten words I'm going to use. And then, you know, I just thought, you know, oh, God, you know, I'm feeling a little bit better. So I go to sleep. Silly me, I hadn't wiped. Oh, God, for the love of Jesus, what the fuck is happening? I'm a, I'm a convert. I wasn't that religious before. I am now. I've seen the light. Christ is the way. He just is. She's like, yeah, I didn't even wipe. And so right now, the sheets, they are hanging up not too far from here because I don't like to use dryers because of electricity. Yet you, he wants to conserve. He wouldn't want to be wasteful or, you know, gluttonous with anything, right? That, that, that would never happen. <laughs> So he does the sheets are hanging in his office, which I just assume is a Dunkin' Donuts. I just assume his office has got to be some kind of Dunkin' Donuts factory that he's had built. Because he's got to be rich by this point. And I'm not knocking him for doing it. I'm knocking people who pay him for contributing to this man's ultimate demise, which is what it's going to be. So he's like, you know, and I'm letting them dry because I like to air dry. And I, my sheets are white. I'm like, you know what? I've had enough. I can't. You know, how much more can I retch? So then I see he's done another video. I'm like, I'll give another video a try. And he's done a video with this woman called Hungry Fat Chick. And then I'm like, these, it comes together when I'm watching them. I think Hungry Fat Chick looks familiar, aside from her being another one of the mukbangers that's 5,000 pounds. And, you know, 
all the shit they do. It's so fucking disgusting. I swear, anything they eat, this is a mukbang video. Imagine five bajillion pieces of uh, chicken. I got a fucking trough of mashed potatoes and they do have like a trough. That's what it looks like. And I'm sitting here and I'm just eating it all. I'm going like this. It's drooling down my face and every five seconds I go, oh, oh, oh. And every juicy fucking noise. It sounds like, you know, they're up close. It sounds like, like Freddy Krueger's version of ASMR. It's like a nightmare in my fucking ears. Like, oh, mm, is that good? <laughs> yeah, that's good. I love mm. uh, Oh, so good. You like this bucket of fries? I love this bucket of fries. It's so good. <laughs> so I'm like, all right. I can't, I can't. So he teams up with this chick and they're making a video and she is bigger than he is. Either that or she ate a couple roommates. I don't know. I'm saying I heard she had roommates. I don't think she has them anymore. Has anybody seen missing posters? That's all I'm going to say. But um, she looked familiar, you know, and I'm like, I don't watch mukbangs. How does this chick look familiar? She is the same woman and he is the same guy. I did my anti-mukbang video about that got me in big trouble for hate speech. These two are still, that's the same chick. That's the chick that he took her to the heart attack grill, which I believe it has been closed even before COVID. Where even, you know, they're like, yeah, I mean, we want to like demise fatties and all that, but even we think this is a shitty idea and we're going to burn in hell. And we just don't want the, you know, the devil's pitchfork to poke our ass too much. <laughs> This was four years ago. So actually, it must have been longer I did this video, or I did it two years ago, and I saw the four-year video. But she and him are sitting there, and back then, he was actually relatively thin. And she was, again, size of a fucking duplex. And now, she's managed to get even bigger, and this was the problem I had. Because I remember when they went to the heart attack grill, and the fucking staff should have stopped him, first of all, at least stopped her. Because the food, as, she, as soon as she sits down, every sentence begins like this so today i'm gonna be having bitch if you are doing that before you eat stop fucking eating i know it's not easy i know it's a fucking whatever but you need to fucking stop eating is what you need to fucking do because you are fucking majorly sick at this point and you are killing yourself you're kidding is nobody care? and youtube has no problem with this which is my problem youtube monetizes them constantly youtube is allowing them to gorge themselves to death and no one seems to give a shit. This is what's funny to me. You can't say anything that's remotely anti-PC. You can't call out certain groups of people because of gender, because of uh, pronouns or what have you. That would get you in such shit. But if you're either Eugenia Cooney, who is the size of this, and are blatantly starving yourself to death and you know are basically dying in front of our eyes, or if you are the apps actual reverse and you are these two who are the size of you know texas by this fucking point they have no issue with it they have no issue paying out adsense money to these poor people and i'm saying poor people because i know i'm not gonna rip these guys too much like mikado avocado i saw some more clips and other people were mentioning he may or may not have a mental illness and i actually believe he does i really do to do this to yourself there must be something going on there must be and the same thing with uh hungry fat chick and everything, but it doesn't mean it should be supported. I, Jesus Christ, where does it end? You would not monetize a video with some emo chick sitting there be like, yeah, I just really like to cut myself. So today I'm going to have Arby's and I'm going to slip myself. Woo, not killing myself, but woo, yeah, I'm just going to bleed out a little bit. You wouldn't monetize that. YouTube be like, oh, no, fuck it, no, 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 <laughs> that's just crossing the line. I mean, people gorging themselves on food and eventually dying from cardiac arrest, we're fine with. We will give them money for that, but this is just crossing. You can't say things about freaking pronouns. And that is going to be actually my next video, I believe, and it's probably not going to be in this channel because we all know people are going to be pissed. Go to my other channel, JBTV Cut, and it's an oxymoron because this one is more, un more cut and the other one's more uncut. I don't know. It's getting late. But yeah, bottom line, it's going to go on the other channel. And I put a lot of videos on the other channel that I know are going to get me shit. I'm predicting this one will get me shit. Even though I don't think I've said anything too terrible, I think that people who are for this and support this, let's be real. It's a fetish. 
It's a sexual fetish, I believe, at this point. That's the only reason you want to see these people do this stuff. You get turned on somehow by the gross noises. It's It's not for their commentary. They're not saying anything interesting. You can't say anything with 50 drumsticks in your fucking mouth. You can't. You can't say anything with, you know, 20 Krispy Kremes wedged in one cheek. You just... And they're unwrapping paper and shit. And I know skinny people do it too. And even that to me is gross. But when I look at them, I don't see somebody... To me, if you're skinny and still doing that, you're faking it somehow. I don't know what you're doing afterward. I, I, but there's no way you're staying that thin eating that amount. Or you're doing it for shock value once every six months, kind of like a jackass type of thing. Then I get it. Then I'm like, okay, once every... In a while, if you want to gorge yourself for some apparent reason that I don't understand, that's absolutely fine. But this is just... There are, I mean, they're compilations. I, the last video I watched to prepare for this, and I don't think you could ever prepare, was um, Mukbang Best Moments or something like that. And just, you know, my favorite is they all gorge themselves. You can't breathe, but they got to have the water. They got to have the water. Not a milkshake or anything like that. Oh, God, I need to hydrate. Suddenly you're concerned. <laughs> Suddenly you're concerned about what you're putting in your body. All of a sudden you care, right? I, I, okay. I, yeah, so whoever recommended it, thank you. I love you. I'm mad at you at the same time, but it's okay. I'll get over it. And yeah, so <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 all is lost. All is lost.